In this lesson, we'll discuss the CHEF procedure after an ANOVA test. Before we begin doing the question, remember that the CHEF procedure is the most popular post hoc procedure that there is. This is what you use after the null hypothesis has been rejected after an ANOVA test. Like the two key procedure, it compares two means at a time. It's a pairwise comparison, but it has a lower statistical power. In another video, I'll be showing you the two key procedure. Now to build on a question that we did earlier, we learned about the ANOVA test using this example. In the example, there's an investigator who wishes to compare the average time to relieve a headache after administering three different drugs. And what was recorded were the times that it took to relieve the person's headache after taking the drug. Using this information, we made our ANOVA table and eventually rejected the null hypothesis which said that all the groups were the same after the treatment in favor of the alternative. Chef's procedure also requires information found in this table, so we'll be using it again moving forward. Now let's find out which of these drugs were in fact significantly different. Now because there are three groups, let's call drug A group 1, this group 2, and group 3, we have three comparisons to make. Groups 1 and 2, 1 and 3, and 2 and 3. Let's begin with group A and group B, 1 and 2. First we start with the hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that group 1 does not differ from group 2 and the alternative is the opposite, that they're not the same. We select a statistic test and again we'll be using the F test as before so we need to find out F observed so that eventually we can compare it to F critical. To find out F observed we subtract the mean of group 1 minus the mean of group 2, square that value and divide it by the mean square within and that gets multiplied to 1 over the number of individuals in that first group, I'll call it n sub 1, and just to be clear this should be x bar sub 1, x bar sub 2, plus 1 over the number of individuals in the other group. Let's fill this in, f observed is equal to, we have 33 minus 26, 33 minus 26 raised to the power of 2, over, the mean square within was 20.833, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5. Let's plug this into our calculator, see what we find. This gives us an F observed of 5.88. Next we have to make a decision by comparing this value to the F critical. The F critical is found a little bit different than the way you find it with an ANOVA test. What you do is you take K minus 1, where K represents the number of groups. We have three groups, and we multiply it to the F critical value at 0 0.05 significance, the degrees of freedom between, which is 2, and within, which is 12. So you have to find this number out in a table. And if you find it, it should be 3.89. So I take 3 minus 1, which is 2, times 3.89. Let's multiply 2 times 3.89, and we get 7.78. If I draw this number out on an F distribution chart, this is what its pattern looks like. 7.78 is, let's say, over here. And because this is less than the F critical that we found, it falls somewhere here, this value. It doesn't fall in this rejection region. Therefore, we do not reject the null hypothesis. We accept it. In other words, we have insufficient evidence at 0 0.05 to conclude that the averages for those that were administered drug A and drug B were different. You always make your conclusion based on the alternative, not the null hypothesis. Okay, so that compared group one and two. Now we have to do the same thing for the next groups, which is one and three. 
Let's do these calculations alongside what we just did here. So again, the null hypothesis will be mu1 is equal to mu3. The alternative is mu1 does not equal to mu3. We use the same formula as before, except with different numbers, obviously. Group one has a mean of 33, just as before. 33 minus, and here we have 20. Raise that to the power of two over the same denominator as before. Let's use our calculator. We end up with an F observed that's much larger this time, 20.28. Comparing 20.28 to 7.78, obviously F observed is larger than F critical. And if I show you this on a graph, the F critical 7.78 is here and 20.28 is over here. This falls in the rejection region, so we will be rejecting the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. And so to make our conclusion, we have sufficient evidence at 0 0.05 that the Averages of group one taking drug A and the averages of group three taking drug C are different. So I'll put a check mark there. I'll do this one more time now and we'll be comparing group two with group three. So it's null hypothesis looks like this. Its alternative is the opposite. It's F observed using the same formula as before except with different numbers. The average was 26, and we'll subtract 20 from that. So 26 minus 20 raised to the power of 2 over 20.833. They both have five individuals in their groups. Let's use our calculator. Change this to 26, and that at 20, we get 4.32. The F observed is less than F critical, so it doesn't fall in the rejection region. If it doesn't fall in the rejection region, then we have insufficient evidence at 0 0.05 significance level to conclude that their averages are different. So do not reject the null hypothesis. And so there you have it. Drug one and drug three were the significant difference in this group, and that is how to use Chef's procedure alongside the ANOVA test to help us determine that.